Hi, uh, this is Steve Balshaw here at Grimfest, um, here on the opening night, and I am joined by Hannah May Cumming, who is the director of Baby Fever, which we are screening as part of the first shorts programme, which makes it one of the opening fil uh, films of the festival. Uh, Hannah, you've come all the way from the States. Where, where about are you from? Uh, Oregon, Portland, Oregon. Oregon. I'm originally from Liverpool, but I've lived in Portland, Oregon for the past 14 years. I was going to say, you don't so, have much yeah. of a Liverpool accent. I don't sound like a Scouser anymore. Okay. <laughs> so, right. Um, Baby Fever is, I guess it's a comedy, but it's, it's a pretty dark comedy. Uh, and it's a very, very cine literate film with loads of uh, references to the Palmer, to Lucio Fulci. Where did it come from? Because it's it's a you know it's a it's quite a full on piece. So what yeah. were you what were you thinking when you took it on? Well, it's funny that you say it's a comedy because we didn't really think it was a comedy until it, we finished it and everyone's saying it is. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, yeah, it came from our love of seventies horror. I think um, we love Carrie. We love. Argento, Argento's my favorite director, sure. yep. um, and it just, we wanted to make something that was like a love letter to what we think is the best decade of the horror genre, so. Okay. Uh, and it, it's also, I mean, it, it, it is funny, but it's, 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 it's interesting because it's quite a long short, because you spent a lot of time building the relationship between the characters and establishing the relationships. I mean, for any, any short film director, that's a risk, taking that. Uh, did you, did you, when you were, when you were cutting it, when you put this together, did you think, right, I need that time to involve? Yeah, words? well, so I've made two shorts before this. They're both quite long, about 18, 20 minutes each. Sure. And I felt like it just wasn't enough time. Um, and because we were trying to cut them down to fit into, you know, a festival um, submission, I, I think that the films kind of, they, they really weakened because of that. And I wanted to give it the time. We've got a, long, a lot of long takes in this film, and yeah. I think that that helps with the kind of 70s feel. Yeah, because they yeah. the takes by them. Yeah, yeah. So I think we just decided we were going to make it as long as we wanted, and a, a festival <laughs> would take it if they wanted it. So thank you for playing no, it. <laughs> I mean, I, to be honest, I mean, we've, we've got a fair number of quite long shorts this year, which yeah. is unusual for us. Because, yeah. I mean, I always... I'll always tell filmmakers, cut, 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 cut. But I didn't look at this and think that. I was thinking, it's like a small feature. It, it has, it has a, a definite story arc. It has a character development arc. So it justifies its running time. So that to me was... But I mean, it's also, it's also become quite bone-chillingly um, topical. Particularly in America right now. It has. I mean, we premiered it um, four days after Roe v. Wade was overturned. Wow. Yeah, and it was probably the most nerve-wracking moment of my entire life because I know the intention that we went into making it, writing it, producing it, editing it, releasing it, but, you know, the whole climate, the political climate changed mm -hmm. that week. Yes. Um, I was gripping my producer's arms while we were watching it because I just didn't know how people were going to take it. Um, and, and luckily it hit exactly how we wanted to, maybe a little harder. Uh, than we had originally anticipated, but I think in a in a good way. Um, it 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 says what we were hoping it would say, and I think that it speaks to people more than it would have before. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I think as well. I mean, I, I, I we you know we put a warning in the program because it's yeah. it's one of those films where it's there's there's humour in it and it's got that kind of campy seven, you know seventies vibe to it. And people are going to be enjoying that kind of that feel and, yeah. and one of the things I've discovered in the past is when you show something that's quite retro people expect it to be fun right. and when it does something they're not they, they might be startled by it and this doesn't pull any punches when it comes down to it which I think is you know it's, it's, it's I think what I liked about it is it doesn't just do retro it plays on it plays it plays it plays it plays it it plays on it plays its homage it pays its juice to, to Argento to Fulci to all these guys but it has something to say now, and it doesn't, you know, so... Thank, thank you. We, on that. Thank you so much. It That means a lot to me, because we really wanted to, you know, make something that was a love letter to the 70s, but something that was relevant now, something that was fresh now. Um, sure. I and ret something retro-impressionistic, you know? It, it's, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think I think it's going to play well. I think it's going to go. I think it's going to be a big hit with our with our audience. And I think <laughs> I'm going to have to to to, uh, to wind this one down now, yeah. simply because we've got to get you over there for the screening. It. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much.